Here are the top 20 FPS games on Xbox Game Pass. Number 20. High on Life High on Life differs from the other FPS titles on Xbox Game Pass in a number of ways. Its comedy is off the charts and it mixes platforming with its more shooting elements. On your adventure, every weapon you use, from dovey guns with faces to melee-oriented sword things, speaks to you. You take on the role of a high school graduate with a boring life. You find yourself becoming an intergalactic bounty hunter who takes on an alien cartel that invades Earth to utilize mankind as a new drug. Actually, not every first-person shooter game might need to include deathmatch. Some may simply need to send you on a funny space-faring adventure with a talking weapons. Number 19. Metal Hellsinger Metal Hellsinger is exactly what you would get if you combine Doom with a rhythm game. The movement and fighting are extremely Doom-like, which is clearly a good thing, but this time you have to kill enemies to the rhythm of the heavy metal music, which becomes louder as you get into it. Metal Hellsinger offers players fantastic music and challenges them to carry out kills in time with the beat, providing one of the most enjoyable gaming experiences. Though the game is short, you'll find yourself replaying the game over and over again, only to experience the pure satisfaction of swiping a sword or firing a gun at the precise downbeat. Number 18. Battlefield Hardline There are several Battlefield games available on EA Play, but if you want the series' infamous multiplayer mayhem, you're better off picking one of the more recent releases like Battlefield 2042. Hardline, on the other hand, merits special consideration for its campaign. The focus of the game is the war on crime, breaking away from the military setting that characterized the series. The main factions in Hardline are the police special response units and criminals. Players have access to various military-grade weapons and vehicles, such as the Lenko Gearcat, as well as having police equipment such as tasers and handcuffs. Hardline's bombastic police drama is a gem in the rough that is well worth the price of admission in a genre where single-player offers frequently take a back seat to the multiplayer aspect. Number 17. Kill It With Fire If you are just looking for a traditional first-person shooter, then you will not find that in Kill It With Fire. You are using a wide range of weapons, cover-based techniques, or ammunition management through complicated missions. Instead, you are simply eliminating spiders that have entered your home. Hunting down every last eight-legged creature that has made your home its residence may increase your chances to burn down your entire house. But stacking up hills of furniture that has been flipped upside down while doing that surely qualifies as highly rewarding. Number 16. Back 4 Blood this four-player zombie survival game looks familiar for a reason. It is a work of Turtle Rock Studios, who cooperated with Valve on Left 4 Dead. While many of the features are the same, there is a new growth system that is intriguing in a card system that lets you customize your deck of abilities and perks for each mission. The zombies pose a greater challenge as well, with more unique infected threatening your progress. It's a game that's best played with friends, and it rewards players who figure out which cards are the most important and create a deck that can hold out against waves of zombies. Back 4 Blood is a wonderful addition to the Xbox Game Pass library and a very rewarding cooperative game. Number 15. Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition The 2013 first edition of Payday 2 obviously shows its age in some places, but the Crime Wave Edition has a ton of enhancements and upgrades that the main game has really benefited from over the years. For those who are new, Payday 2 is a cooperative crime simulator in which up to four players work together to carry out a variety of thefts, from simple smash-and-grab robberies of jewelry stores to complex bank vault assaults. The team is generally in charge of the strategy, and it is quite satisfying to see how much thought and complexity can go into each caper. For sure, certain missions favor particular strategies, but the criminal underworld is your oyster, and you can pull off a flawless stealth operation or a gunfight with all weapons blazing. Once you understand the possible options at your disposal and have roped a few friends into your scheming, Payday 2 is sure to turn into a weekend routine for any devoted group of friends. Number 14. Proteus Proteus didn't draw a lot of attention when it was initially released as a PC Game Pass title. However, it gained huge popularity when it released for consoles. Proteus has been receiving excellent reviews everywhere. You're in for a treat if you've got Game Pass and you enjoy using heavy guns to blast aliens and space marines and turn them into bloody little chumps. Proteus has a fantastic time to offer if you like the classical Doom and haven't played it before. Number 13. Doom 2016 After a long break, 
Doom made a huge comeback in 2016, a masterwork of visceral violence, challenging and incredibly rewarding. Doom uses the past to create an experience that seems timeless by modernizing the run-and-gun style of classic 90s shooters. Doom is the gold standard when it comes to video games that offer pure, unadulterated adrenaline and hardly any other title comes close to matching it. Doom's combat is extraordinarily fast-paced and incredibly satisfying. So grab a shotgun and prepare and move on a high speed and blast hundreds of demons in the face. Number 12. Far Cry 5 Given their open-world design, the Far Cry titles are among the most enjoyable first-person shooters available, and Far Cry 5 is among the best, particularly because two players may enjoy some campaign co-op fun. Even while your journey to Hope County isn't the finest Far Cry experience, it's still a great entry in the series. Everything you might want from a Far Cry game is present, including raucous wildlife, larger-than-life but uncannily familiar enemies, and an open-world sandbox. And most important, you may experience all that fun side-by-side -side with a friend. If you are enjoying the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Number 11. Wolfenstein The New Order the early Wolfenstein games helped define the FPS genre, and the New Order revitalizes the beloved series with a gripping narrative and precise gameplay. It combines the fast gunplay that ID Software fans anticipate with a sprinkling of RPG tropes such as skill trees, branching narrative pathways, and side missions, and the whole package works incredibly well. The World War II alternate history story effectively weaves between the ultraviolence and bombast for which ID Software is known while still managing to connect into an emotional core with a gorgeously rendered cast of characters. The current Wolfenstein games are easily some of the greatest single-player first-person shooters available today, and the new order is the ideal place to start. Number 10. Halo 5 Guardians When it was announced, Halo 5 was somewhat controversial among die-hard fans. However, in fact what 343's developers created was a great FPS that made a lot of improvements to the traditional formula. Advanced mobility mechanics, newly designed weapons, and quite possibly the largest ensemble cast of crucial characters the franchise has ever seen, all were added to Halo 5. The campaign starts after the events of Halo 4. The Master Chief and Spartan Locke each have their own fire team. Halo 5's improved mobility, in addition to its compelling story, makes its campaign and multiplayer elements a satisfying experience. Number 9. Prey Set on a space station, Prey puts players in the shoes of Morgan Yu as he explores the Talos One after it has been invaded by an alien threat. The game combines aspects of horror, stealth, and Metroidvania gameplay. It also allows the players to explore the game world however they like. Despite that Prey is played in first-person perspective, the game urges you to stop and analyze your options before engaging in a shootout. This game has a really intriguing premise, sharp and dynamic gameplay, a gorgeously atmospheric environment, and some genuinely terrifying enemies. Number 8. Halo Infinite Halo Infinite is the most recent entry in the venerable franchise. The campaign mode gives the series new life, while the multiplayer is extremely entertaining. The single-player campaign marked a significant advance over Halo 5 Guardians. While there are the standard Halo missions, Infinite also has open-ended sections where players may take on side quests and explore Zeta Halo. Players can use weapons and vehicles from the Halo series such as the Warthog. The game introduces new skills for Master Chief like the Grapple Shot, which drags him towards enemies or collects items. Both single-player and multiplayer gunplay is as enjoyable as ever. The story is extensive and long, and the online modes ensure that fans will continue to play Halo Infinite for years to come. Number 7. Deathloop After its release, Deathloop received a ton of acclaim and many perfect reviews. This time-looping adventure traps you in a death cycle until you discover everything about the island of Black Reef and the eight targets you must destroy to break the loop. Unlock new abilities by peeking in behind bad guys, stabbing and shooting and sneaking around, examining environments for clues, and decide which path to go next as you push and pull and explore every corner of this labyrinthine puzzle box. Be careful! Another assassin called Juliana is after you and can strike at any time. Number 6. Rainbow Six Siege this fantastic FPS entry is ideal for players seeking a little challenge while taking advantage of first-rate team dynamics. Depending on the type of role you wish to play, from sniping and distraction to breaching and trickery, this game also contains a good amount of hero-shooter elements. 
there are various PvP options as well as PV modes that put teams against AI enemy and even solo options to sharpen your skills. If you enjoy working with a team when playing FPS games, Siege makes it easy to locate other dedicated players. Beginners may feel overwhelmed throughout their first few matches, and the game has a higher learning curve than the majority of popular shooters available, but it is well worthwhile. Number 5. Doom Eternal It was difficult to top ID Software's Doom reboot in 2016. The most serious fans could have hoped for from a sequel was more of the same. But Doom Eternal went further and did not follow the exact same pattern as the immensely successful Doom from 2016. Although the shooting is familiar, Doom Eternal is bigger and more ambitious, and the level scale is huge. Doom Eternal makes battles interesting by requiring you to use glory kills and your chainsaw to pick up ammo and health as opposed to just fighting till the level ends. There is no other FPS game in the genre that requires split-second chess moves like Doom Eternal. Add to that, better story environments and more difficult tasks to perform. All that easily push you into the fun zone. Number 4. Deep Rock Galactic The key to Deep Rock Galactic's popularity is how well-balanced it is for quick team-ups and co-op games with friends. The missions itself make excellent use of the various classes available in the game, each of which has unique abilities for both mining and fighting. Every mission allows players to explore an environment, find and mine valuable ores, and then escape a horde of hungry insect aliens. Points are earned and upgrades are bought to strengthen your chosen class, without becoming overly tedious or time-consuming. While Deep Rock Galactic does not offer the typical first-person shooter experience seen in multiplayer action games, it is for sure a game that you shouldn't miss. Number 3. Battlefield 1 Battlefield 1 checks all the boxes that the brand is known for with its massive multiplayer mayhem, almost unheard of levels of player agency, and destructible yet painstakingly crafted locations for the conflicts to take place in. However, it puts the gameplay in a place that only few FPS games have covered which is the trenches of World War I. As a result, the visual and map options are incredibly intriguing, and the vehicle designs, especially the tanks, are unique and strange enough to effectively convey a feeling of immersion in the World War I period. Number 2. Titanfall 2 Titanfall is a fantastic game, thanks to its amazing and exploitable movement mechanics. And to see that, you really don't need to look any further than a Titanfall 2's speedrun. Titanfall 2 is a first-person shooter, but if you can master movement, it also transforms into a very tight and challenging platformer. This is actually what excites players about Titanfall 2. However, it's still a fantastic shooter developed by a studio that has proved itself as a master of the genre. The campaign of Titanfall 2 revolves around the duo of the novice pilot Jack Cooper and the Titan BT-7274. Even if you aren't into Titanfall 2's movement mechanics, the campaign mode has a lot to offer. And finally, number 1, Halo The Master Chief Collection. The Master Chief Collection is where any fan of FPS should start if they want to get the most out of their Game Pass subscription. The Master Chief Collection makes the Master Chief's adventures more accessible than ever before. The whole Halo game collection is the result of 343 Industries' efforts to preserve the Halo franchise. Every major Halo game is included, apart from Halo 5 Guardians and Halo Infinite. The Master Chief Collection has it everything, from cherished campaign co-op to exciting firefight battles to amazing multiplayer modes. There is no better way to end the fight for those who have never completed the Master Chief saga. Anyone who considers themselves a Halo fan should consider get this collection. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.